Hi guys and girls, welcome to another clip by Andronco Reptile Park. This one, well, I'm calling this clip a mission of mercy, simply because that's what it is. We get to deal with a lot of Python callouts, and you guys will see on our clips that there are quite a number that feature. On a lot of those callouts, the Pythons are in good nick and they're in good shape and condition, but many of the Pythons we kept, we call to capture or rescue are in not such good shape and this poor guy that we're rescuing tonight this afternoon is certainly in serious trouble we're on the approach to winter and uh, pretty soon temperatures are going to be such that this animal is not going to be able to acquire a meal and digest it in the space that we have between now and the real bitter cold and without that and being able to build up his body reserves He's not going to survive baby. the winter. Oh, it's a male. So skinny. Should I just don't take it? It's a male. Mm. I can grab him. It's a male? Yeah, it's a male. I was thinking maybe it's a female that just got over nest. Just hold. Let me just uh, get a picture of the female. No, there's no reaction. There's no tongue flick. There's nothing. It's so cold. We had a bit of a tongue flick this, yeah. this morning while we were looking. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe it was just sleeping. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I thought it was trying to warm up on that. Yeah. There's a tongue flick, Can you in it? Okay, do you want um, to? Yeah, pass me the GoPro. You're going to be okay to do this? Oh, it's got an aura, eh? Yeah? It's got an aura, respiratory infection. You need to go in it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can we hold the bag? Yes, please. Uh, I'm going to be cameraman for a change. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, just uh, no, just okay. you. Here's the just put the bag, put the put the bag flat and shift it in. Don't pick it up. No. Just shift it in. Push the tail in first. Is it at least three, three, three meters? Uh, okay. Does that make it half-grown, full-grown, no-grown? Oh, it depends all on the food source. Yeah. You, know, you know, people have got this huge impre or this impression that, that five, this five, is... Five, um, <laughs> yeah, everybody thinks that this environment here is full of food for these guys, yeah. but there's very little food for them. Yeah, especially here, there's not much here. Anyway. Okay, thanks guys. I think that pretty much wraps the capture. We'll have to double dose bait roll now. What's that weight? About seven kilos? Six, seven kilos? No, it's a little bit more than that. No, a little more than that. Oh, I don't know. It looks really What do you similar. feed it with? I think our first meal will feed it a uh, high concentrate, high protein uh, food and then we'll see how that goes. And it came down there. here like this while we were sitting here with the kids here. Can't see it. Uh, see there. And didn't move anymore. When he got to the wall road, he just stopped. Yeah. Just a knot. Yeah, I'll give that to you. Uh, we'll just stick it on the back floor, on the floor of the back, yeah. And then have you got tacked in the floor? Uh, no, I don't think so. I might have. Well, guys and girls, that was a rather not so pleasant clip to need to present, but it's absolutely necessary for the people out there to get to see what sort of conditions some of our pythons get into. We are breeding way more pythons for this coastal zone than this coastal zone can actually support. And the end result is high parasite loads, not enough food, and we're dealing with snakes that wander off into residential areas, motor cars, dogs, cats, and it can be predation, snake on, on the animals or the animals on the snake. Very sad state of affairs. 
So we're trying to do our best to manage populations and ensure that there's a balance. The pythons need to be here, but not in the numbers that they are. Please subscribe. Remember, your subscription is free. It doesn't cost you money. Press the bell button so you get a notification. And join us on our next adventure, of which I'm sure there's going to be plenty. So until next time, guys, be safe. God bless.